Okay, we are back to this amazing Singer Model 404, again, born back on May 18th, 1960. And as I said in the earlier videos, uh, this machine impresses me probably more than any machine that I've sewn with uh, by Singer, including the Singer 201s that are so coveted uh, for that direct drive power. This machine, again, with that 0.75 amp motor, it just mows through anything we can sew uh, with it and at the same time there's a huge amount of control uh, with that foot pedal as well. What we're going to sew off on now is this canvas binding tape. If the camera is close enough hopefully you can see the texture that has almost a Kevlar type weave to it. This stuff is extremely difficult to get through and we've had customers win our listings. We always include all the sew offs that are shown in the videos. They were absolutely amazed at how uh, difficult and, and the piercing threshold of this stuff when they sewed through it themselves once they had the machine in their own home. Uh, and yet these machines, because of the way we service them, it's unbelievable what they can get done. We're not going to go through one or two layers which would demonstrate the strength of this machine. We're going to go through a total of ten layers of this canvas binding tape. There's layer number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten layers. Let me group it together and show you from the side what it is that we're looking at sewing through. Can you believe the thickness of that? If that were an ordinary textile, that would be impressive. But again, this canvas binding tape is like an armor when it comes to resisting that needle. So ten layers of canvas binding tape, I would say, is probably like 15 to 20 layers of an ordinary type textile material. So no small task. But watch what this 404 does with this task. Follow me down to the needle. And notice as well, we can fit these 10 layers of canvas binding tape underneath that presser foot with no trouble whatsoever. So if you're looking at using this machine for quilting, you'll be amazed what you can fit underneath that presser foot. All right, here we go. Ten layers of canvas binding tape. How easy was that? <laughs> I always think, you know, as much as we go through the process of testing our machines and evaluating their strength after they've been serviced, I always think we undersell them a little bit. Uh, it just sewed through these ten layers like it was nothing. And look at the stitch integrity as well. The spacing, the formation is just absolutely gorgeous. Let me pull it back. Look at that. It is just absolutely picture perfect. And as I rotate this around, look at again what 10 layers of canvas binding tape actually is from a thickness standpoint. It's absolutely ridiculously thick. And then remember how easily this machine got the job done. And there's our lock-in. Look at it. It's like textbook perfect, everything about it. The formation, the stitch spacing with that lock-in stitch is picture perfect. Look at it from this angle. Look at that, 10 layers of canvas binding tape, and yet this Singer 404 with that 0.75 amp motor, it's like a walk in the park. <laughs>